Hello, Fear the Meerkat here. Welcome to another episode of Let's Pray. Uh, Curse Bandicoot and Sane Trilogy. I am gonna get the uh, Midnight Run um, Time Bullock because I want to be able to open the second level in the uh, Secret War Room, um, which is uh, the uh, way to the hidden gem, the the death route for um, Hang and Pie. Yeah, that fruit's not coming back. And you need ten relics for that. I don't think that human words have yet been invented to convey how hard it is to do this. Especially when it's so hot that you feel like your skin is literally going to melt. I forgot how bloody hard it is. Anyway, that... That's done. That... I think the key... To that is probably not to keep super speed on all the time because if you do you are going to run into things there are so many hazards on midnight run almost next to each other that you 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 are going to die if you keep it on super speed all the time. Fortunately, this death route is considerably easier. Now, this is the death route that we could see, the, the inaccessible area that we could see on um, Hang em High. See, we can see the normal bit of the level here, in the background. Seems like a lot of relics just to get that one minute long level, but... I'm not going to do the Coco level in the Secret War thing, because it's going to be a pain. I'm going to finish up a couple of things that still need to be doing before I go on to the next warp room. So if I'm right, this would be quite annoying, but we have the correct um, gem, yeah, the yellow gem now, to be able to uh, go on the death route here, and that also means we can get all the boxes now. Getting all the boxes on here is not going to be easy, but it's going to be doable. I will see you in a minute. Now, I think the best thing to do here is probably to get rid of all of the enemies and then go back. Because as 
a lot of boxes here. I think it's probably the best idea for us to do backtracking this way. See you in a minute. I've taken care of all of the boxes there, so I shouldn't need to do it again. This is this really is a mini level this time. It uh, it even has a chase uh, sequence if I remember correctly. This is the amount, I think, for... I don't know if this is for... No, no, I think this is for the entire... The entire level. Oh, right, it's not good. I lost my mask there, but... At least I have a checkpoint here. Whatever happens around that, but... Okay, I assume this is an impassable barrier for a reason. Oh, uh, no it's not. Okay. I don't think there's any way to get over there, though. Well, you can see what that does. But no, I don't think we're supposed to go out of uh, that um, one there. Now I know I've taken care of all the boxes up until that point, so I know all the ones over there are done. Okay, let's let's do one of the new levels. I've decided that I might as well do these in order now because it makes 
writing the uh, titles for the levels better if I can say that like, for example Sphinxinator to Tomb Raider I don't think we have the blue gem. But I think we can open the uh, the tomb time. Uh, I think we can get the gem from tomb time, so. Okay, I th don't think we can actually go up there yet. Wrong. Um, doing that might allow me to. It does let you go across larger gaps, but I don't think so. That's engine there in that boat. He is. He returns for this level. Nitro crates before we go over there. I really like these tomb levels. I mean, they're not the easiest levels in the game, but I really like them.
sure they are, but... I worked out a cat in the end. Yeah, the monkeys are afraid of you. It's not very often I get to say the monkeys are afraid of you. Has to be said. Make sure that I got rid of them. Yep. There were some boxes in the uh, death route. Which probably means some backtracking. Well, I managed to get one thing. Join the episode. I will see you next time.